let's look at an intriguing strategy known as top-down investing. If you've ever wondered how some investors navigate the vast ocean of opportunities to pick winning stocks, you're in for a treat. Let's dive into the big picture world of top-down investing and how it contrasts with its counterpart, bottom-up investing. Imagine looking at the world from space. You see continents, oceans, and countries. This is how a top-down investor starts their journey, by examining the global economic landscape. They zoom in from the macro to the micro, from the global economy to individual sectors, and finally, to specific companies. The process begins with a broad view of the global economy. Is it booming or is it in a slump? This bird's eye view helps investors identify which regions or countries are thriving or showing promise of growth. After pinpointing promising regions, a top-down investor narrows their focus to specific sectors and industries within these regions. They ask, which industries will benefit from current economic conditions? For example, in a growing economy, consumer goods and technology sectors often flourish because people and businesses have more money to spend. Contrast this with bottom-up investing, where the journey starts with individual companies, analyzing their strengths and potential without initially considering the broader economic context. It's a more microscopic approach, focusing on the trees before the forest. Back to our top-down narrative, once a top-down investor has identified thriving sectors, they zoom in further to select standout companies. These are businesses that shine with strong leadership, innovative products, and competitive advantages. Now, every strategy has its sunny and rainy days. The strength of top-down investing lies in its panoramic perspective. It allows investors to sidestep regions or sectors that might be facing economic downturns, thus managing risks more effectively. However, forecasting economic trends is akin to predicting the weather. It's complex and fraught with uncertainties. You might wonder then, is top-down investing the golden path? Well, it depends on your investment style and risk tolerance. While it offers a structured way to filter investment opportunities, it also challenges investors to accurately forecast macroeconomic trends, which is no small feat. So, there you have it, top-down investing in a nutshell. It's a journey from the global stage down to the nitty-gritty of individual stocks, guided by the belief that big-picture trends shape the destinies of sectors and companies. If you found this overview useful, please consider subscribing to the channel for more insights into the investment world. Thank you for watching.